This is JR. I'm showing how to use a plugin, Vimeo plugin, to record yourself going through a prototype of your Figma file. Recording it so that you can simply send the video to someone else and they can watch you demo your own design. Um, Vimeo is what Figma recommends. It's their number one recommendation. I think there are a lot of steps involved and there may be another way to do it that to you is easier, but I'm just going to focus on this one because it is what Figma recommends as of this date. So I have to open my document, not with the app, but on uh, line, the browser version. For me, the app didn't work. So I've got the browser version open and I've loaded already before this recording the uh, the appropriate plugin from under uh, plugins in Figma. So what I do is open this window and leave enough room to the right. And by the way, if you want to, you can stop the video and do a screen capture. This is a talk through of what I'm about to show you and. Apologies, it's, a, it's a, quite a number of steps, but this is why I thought you might want to see a video. I'm going to right click on the artboard of the Figma file, bring up the drop down menu, <clears throat> and specify that I want to use Vimeo Record plugin. That'll pop up the Vimeo Record settings. You have choices. I'll let you go through the tutorial if you want to, but I choose a screen because that's what I want it to focus on. I don't want the customer or client to see all of this. I just want them to see the prototype against a nice black background. So what I'm going to do is click on play. And what I notice is now I cannot right click. If I right click, Vigma doesn't react, and that was a puzzlement. So what I figured out to do was actually drag the pop-up prototype window over so it's in a separate window now. And now I can click here in the Figma background, just like the instructions say, and invoke this uh, Vimeo record, and then I can hit start recording. Now, if it's working properly, you'll still have to choose up here among the three tabs. And the one I want is to choose a particular window. And finally, there it is. There's my prototype in a nice black background. I click on that. Now, I'll warn you, when I click on share, you'll get a three second countdown before the video will start recording. So what I'm going to do is click here and immediately go over and click on this window to, to bring it to the front and start recording. So click share. Three, two, one. We're now starting a recording of Vimeo showing how to use prototype software, going through and able to narrate, able to click the buttons ourselves instead of relying on whoever we're sending the video to. And show them. I've sized the screen ahead of time to make sure it would cover all the different scenarios. I can go through and talk about how it would work on mobile, talk about how it would work on desktop. And then it should take me back to the original screen. So I have finished my Vimeo recording. So I'm going to go back to the control box and click this red button to stop recording. And it'll take a moment to process. Your file will not be saved on your local computer. It will be saved up to the Vimeo account. So add video to me, I would call it save the video, but it, it is a way to 
put the video up where it can be give it a new title and I can load it or save it I should say up to the account and what's interesting is back here in Figma I now have a Vimeo frame that includes links out to the video. Now, ordinarily, I would want to copy this link using that Vimeo control panel. One of the options is to copy the link. Then you can send it by Slack or email or text, whatever, to an individual, or you can share it to anyone who has the the link, but um, this is good because if another designer comes in and has to work on your file, this is a way they can basically get quickly up to speed on what you were thinking. And so I could hit play and it would take me to view the video online and that second designer could watch and hear me So they can see and hear what I just recorded. So that is the process. There are some steps, but I hope by you seeing it, um, you at least can understand what it is that the documented process is. Again, if you have found shortcuts, please share. Uh, this is JR.